nestled against a majestic Rocky Mountain backdrop in Salt Lake City is the University of Utah, a proud, distinguished seat of learning. And at Utah, they have learned, among other things, the tested formula for a national championship basketball team. The Utes won that title last year, and here in this field house, they are plotting to repeat. Headed for a practice session are some of the boys who make up the title squad, a squad consisting mostly of 17-year-old freshmen, sprinkled with a few discharged servicemen. First, the boys circled the basket for one-handed pop shots, the Western style, which helped them beat St. John's of New York for the championship last winter. Now for some defensive drill, with the white team showing how it switches men in a zone defense. The same type of play in slow motion. Watch the man guarding the pivot switch to the one cutting in for the shot. Here's Utah's tricky out-of-bounds play, which has worked so well. In slow motion, the corner man blocks for 25, who spins around the stationary blockers to score. And now Madison Square Garden, New York with Utah's name in lights for another game with St. John's. This is big league basketball. The tip off, Utah in white controls the ball and the Utes work it around carefully until they get it down into scoring territory for one of those short, sure passes to the pivot. The pivot gets it, whirls around and Utah draws first blood. by St. John's, but he's a little too anxious. Utah intercepts, and it's fired down to Farron, who drops it in. one falls short, but the follow-up falls in for St. John's. They square away to start the second half, and in a scramble under the basket, Utah tips one in. St. John's also knows the rebound business. This is the game with the blistering bounce for the fast and fancy. It takes the limit in teamwork and skill. And here is court craft at its best.